Hey guys, what's up? It's our Map Find here, and today we're going to be doing another Apple News show. We're going to be talking about all the latest iOS 6 rumors, iPhone 5 rumors, and all the news that's happened over the past week. Let's get started. Rumors report that iOS 6 will have a new silver and gray looking interface. This will replace the current blue and black interface that is shown in most stock applications. Now these rumors come out of um, looking at the WWDC app and comparing it to last year's. This app sports a new silver look as you can see on the screen and it looks a lot sleeker but whether or not it's better is up to you guys. Leave a comment in the comment section below. You can also watch another video where I go a little more in depth. Check that link out in the description. Recent images have leaked of a new 3D Maps technology that will be available in iOS 6. It definitely looks like a really cool feature and uh, features you being able to see in 3D wherever you're going in the Maps application and being able to get directions in 3D as well. Now I think this is great for looking at the maps itself, but it's kind of hard when you're um, trying to get directions or, or using a GPS to be able to follow. So hopefully they have um, a toggle switch where you can change it back and forth. But other than that, it definitely looks really great. There's been a string of reportedly leaked images of the iPhone 5. Now this one seems to stand out among the others. This one is supposedly more realistic than the other ones are, and may actually be even the real iPhone 5. Now it does show a smaller area for the uh, the home button, and we're not 100% sure how this is going to be incorporated. Uh, it definitely looks pretty good whether or not this is going to have a home button or would be without the home button, which we've heard a lot of different things about. But this is the back. It looks um, like a standard iPhone. It might be a little bit thinner, and it definitely looks really great. So take a look at this image. You can also check out um, a whole gallery of different images I put into a video. Uh, the link is right up here in an annotation. Recent rumors indicate that the long-awaited Microsoft Office for iPad may be coming out on November 10th. Now this has been leaked by um, various different sources, but we're not sure if it's actually going to be um, released then or released at all. Now there's been a lot of different stuff in the past about Microsoft Office. Basically, it'll have all the different features such as Microsoft Word, um, Excel, PowerPoint, um, and all these different features in different apps or you can purchase them as a bundle. It definitely looks really great and would be amazing on the iPad, but we're not sure if this is actually going to come out. Hopefully it does because it definitely looks great. Apple is reportedly going to change a lot of different things in iOS 6, but it's going to focus mainly on the stock applications that are available right when you purchase your iPhone. Um, and it definitely looks really great. What they're going to be doing is changing some of the camera apps, some of the other applications that are included and pre-installed on your iPhone itself. It definitely looks really great, and they're going to be looking at changing some stuff, make it a lot better on the user's end, and make it a lot sleeker and cooler uh, in, in its design. Reportedly, Facebook may be um, making its debut on the iOS um, OS uh, software in iOS 6. Now it might be built right into the OS and basically that what that would mean is it would just be like the Twitter is built in. It would be able to share stuff on Facebook, post pictures and videos on Facebook. It'll be totally integrated into the OS, um, kind of like what Twitter is today. Now this has been something that has been rumored for a while but is most likely actually going to happen in iOS 6. This is backed up by a bunch of different other reporters and stuff. We're not sure. What I want you guys to do is leave a comment in the comment section below on whether or not you would use um, the Facebook built-in OS uh, if it actually came out. Because I definitely think this is a really cool feature that could come out on iOS 6 and could be one of the other features that adds to the appeal of the Apple products over such Android products because you'll be able to use both Facebook and Twitter instantly instead of having to go into their own uh, applications so it would be native to the iPhone and pre-built in. Leave a comment in the comment section below about what you think about this. iOS 6 will uh, be totally remaking the um, App Store, iTunes Store, and iBook Store. Now they're trying to make these more user friendly and easier to find the content that you want and is more specific to you. Now as you guys know, Apple acquired Chomp a while ago, which is a service that is, allows you to uh, 
find different applications which are like the applications you already own, and hopefully they will be integrating this into the App Store. Today's featured app is the app Wake Smarter. It's a pretty cool application. Let's check it out. Wake Smarter is a very cool application that allows you to um, be able to get Siri-like commands into this alarm clock style. It has a solid 5 out of 5 star rating currently on the App Store, and I would give it a 4.5 out of 5 star on my personal scale of stars. It's a really great application, so let's check it out. Weather. The weather for today. At the moment, there is light rain with a temperature of 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Forecast. During the day, there will be moderate or heavy rain showers. The temperature will be between 54 and 63 degrees Fahrenheit. There will be a fresh breeze with winds blowing 6 miles per hour from the east. And there you go, it'll show you the weather. You can also set alarms, uh, and it has some other cool features. Night view. Okay, I've set night view. And it'll change it to the night view format of the alarm clock. Now you can add alarm clocks manually, or you can speak the alarm clocks. Set alarm for 10 past 10. Tomorrow. Can you repeat that? Set alarm for ten past ten AM. New alarm set for tomorrow, ten minutes past ten in the morning. And there you go. It may take a couple of tries. I wanted to leave that in just to show you that sometimes it has a small margin of error, but um Three out of four times, it did get my commands correct. It can also play playlists and be an amazing application, and I do recommend it. There's a lot of different features inside of the alarms as well. Uh, you can change different types of alarms, add new alarms. Uh, it's a really great application. I do highly recommend checking it out if you don't already have an iPhone 4S that has Siri. Thank you guys for watching the Apple News Show. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to give it a like and share it with your friends so they can learn more about Apple as well. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already because we do weekly episodes every Saturday. Now guys, that reminds me, I just want to let you guys know that for the next two weeks, I'm going to be posting the episode on Sunday. I'm a little busy over the weekend, so on Saturday I'm not going to have enough time to do it. But there will be still be one each week, and it'll just be posted Sunday night instead of Saturday night. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to tune in every uh, Saturday, in this case, Sunday next weekend, for the Apple News Show. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.